yes now see in this hands on session we are discussing about correlated subqueries and we are also looking how to mix how to write a query <coughs> which is the combination of uh, joins and as well as subqueries let me explain first correlated subquery for the correlated subquery i am considering the tables emp cp and dept cp select star from emp cp see some employees working under 10th department 1 2 3 employees working under 10th department and some employees working under 20th department now so select star from dept cp here four departments are there actually four departments some employees working under 10 and 20 some employees working under 30 and 40 so i want to see the department details which are having at least one employee within it select d dot star from dept d where you are looking for existence if there is at least one employee within the department get that department details select e dot emp n wo where from emp e where e dot emp n wo e dot dept n wo is equal to d dot dept n wo so if the employee department number matched with any one department number 20 not matched here matched so for 20th department one employee number is generated if the value at least one value generated exist operator returns true for the 20th department so 20th department details will be displayed by outer query similarly 10 okay for the considered value 10 select is subquery select is selecting one employee number so if there is at least one value for the considered department value what is the considered department value 10 so for department number 10 exist operator is returning true if it is returning true then it will get the 10th department details here it is saying 10 20 30 30 so already i told you in the theoretical session we are considering emp table don't consider emp table consider emp cp and emp dept cp yeah here dept cp select emp envo from emp cp where e dot dept envo is equal to d dot dept envo see according to our emp table according to our emp table some employees working under 10 and some employees working under 20 so 10 and 20 departments are having employees understand now <coughs> for the same scenario i am looking for the departments not having any employees not having any employees select star from so and so dept cp where exists yeah use not exists operator not exists from so and so condition is so and so means if there is no employee if there is no value existed for considered department so 30 and operations according to your emp cp and dept cp tables under 30 and 40 no employees are there if there are no employees i want to get the department details if there are employees i want to get the department details in the previous query right yeah now let me clear the screen 
let me consider another tables select star from account types different account types from a bank okay <coughs> some account types opted by customers some account types not opted by customers now see select star from customer account details okay here sb salary dmat is there but nobody opted for ca opted for loan opted for ft okay from these two tables i want to find out like this get account details account details means account types get account types information if there is at least one customer opted for that account means if there is existed at least one customer for a particular account type get its details so you are selecting data from act dot star from account types act where you are looking for existence see exists select i am selecting one that's why i told you in the theoretical part so you can write any value so exist operator always expects some value maybe it is a column value maybe it is unknown value whatever the value it will expect some value from subquery if it is getting some value then it returns true if it is returning true then it will uh, outer query will display output select one from customer account details customer account details say ad where cad dot account type is equal to act dot account type if both are matched then there should be some customer is there if they are unmatched there should be no customers right yeah sb account salary account dmat account are having customers got it and for the remaining accounts there are no customers ca loan fd so let me modify this as not exists what type of accounts having no customers at all what type of accounts having no customers for that requirement this is the latest query see for fixed deposit no customers are there for ca no customers if you have any doubt you can check here so these are the customers having different accounts some people are opted for sb and some people opted for salary and some people opted for dmat see you are using existence of customers in these account types non existence of customers in these account types okay right and one more thing mm. yeah <coughs> i want to display like this i am having some customers now i am going to explain about how to write sub queries and joins together in which kind of scenario we need to use them okay three tables are there i have a value from one table based on that value i want to get data from remaining two tables again i am repeating totally three tables are there i have a value from one table based on that value i want to get data from remaining two tables here what are the values now see here select start from account types and select start from customer account details and select start from customer details table some people are from texas some people are from chicago okay so not on city value i am i am writing the query based on gender value here genders males females right okay 
display customer account details and cust account information customer account details this table data and also account type information customer account information and account type information you are getting data from these two tables for all male customers for all male gender value equal to male m what is the meaning you are specifying condition on this table from here you are taking only male customers for all male customers you have to display this data and this data how should i so verifying condition on one table getting data from other two tables we need to write a sub query based on this and we need to write a join query based on this how can i mix join query and sub query all together see select what you are selecting here sub query we will write in the where class don't worry about right now select act dot star comma cad dot account number and cad dot account open date comma cad dot account balance and also cad dot customer number from what are the tables here account types act you can apply inner join or equi join anything customer account details cad use on class okay in the on class we should write join query what is the join query act dot account type is equal to cad dot account type where i don't want to get this kind of data for all people only i want to get the data for only these people only gender value equal to male okay so where customer number cad dot customer number in select customer number from customer details table whose customer numbers you are selecting only male customers only male customers where gender value is equal to male finish so this is a sub query first according to sub query is executed it is taking all male customer numbers that numbers pass to where class where class is filtering second table customer account details in that it is very it is looking for given customer numbers okay for those customers only the above joint query will fetch the joined data see here who are the male customers here 1 2 3 4 5 up to 5 okay 1 2 3 4 5 5 so here 1 3 4 5 5 5 only 2 is not having any account and 6 is not a gender so 1 2 3 4 5 5 first five records we have to get 1 2 3 4 5 record combinations it is displaying account names account numbers account open dates balances and customer number 1345 it is not displaying any information related to customer 2 why because customer 2 is not having any customer 2 is not having any account that's why and also customer 6 and 7 are females they are not males here i am getting the data only for males okay yeah this is what about writing a sub query in a join query here we are why because we must write a join query since i am getting data from two tables 
but i am also depending on a value on third table so on which table we have the dependency on that table i will write a sub query and from which tables we are selecting data from those two tables we will write a join query so listen verify this query again right so you can also verify the data like this this is the data sample data you can create your own tables and try it okay in my documentation you have so many examples are there if you want to find out you can find out in my documents also thank you very much that's all about subqueries and joins yeah